check in with Kevin Robinson. Hi there. Hey, good evening, Mike and Cherie. You're absolutely right. Blustery and dreary would be the description around here for the evening hours tonight as it stays cloudy and expect some light rain showers to push through the area. Here's a live look outside right now. It's an ugly looking evening across the area. Storm Center wrapping up across the Great Lakes tonight, up around Michigan, close enough to still have an impact on our weather. It drove a cold front through here this morning. Temperatures have been slowly slipping throughout the afternoon. They will continue to tank through the evening hours on the hills of some brisk northwesterly winds. And we also have seen some showers kind of pivoting their way around that storm center up in Michigan tonight. And one batch of showers now pushing its way through southeastern Indiana. So a little wet out there. While it's not soaking rain across the area this evening, more nuisance shower activity, some light rain or mist across the area. Pushing up through parts of Butler County now, out of southeastern Indiana to the east of Brookville, over around Oxford. It's wet, heading up towards Hamilton right now on Route 4. It's going to turn wet on you. Same story up near the I 70 corridor. Then from Manchester down towards Aurora, Caesar Creek community, and then back over around BB as well, back near the racetrack, over towards areas around Glencoe, even down towards Owington. Some mainly light rain showers moving in. But again, they're adding a little insult to injury on the heels of some pretty brisk west winds. The winds up there right now between 10 and 20 miles an hour. With temperatures in the low 40s, you add that little misty rain in there. It's not going to feel very pleasant here this evening. So showery and blustery as it turns colder. Temperatures will be dropping their way from the 40s back into the 30s this evening on the hills of those brisk winds. And you can see the temperatures. You can see it's warmer the farther east you are. 43 in Mount Orb, Loveland, Mason, 44 Hamilton. And then it slips off into the upper 30s now, Connorsville and Batesville. This is that colder air creeping its way into the tri-state. And you can see it's even more firmly entrenched. That is the cold the farther west you go. So with that nice west wind, northwesterly wind through the evening, will continue to bring in progressively colder air through the night. So it's a gloomy looking night around here with some misty showers before midnight. Skies will begin to attempt to clear before sunrise tomorrow. Tomorrow looks like a much brighter day, albeit sunshine will be out, but with brisk winds, it will still feel cold tomorrow. And then mostly clear skies tomorrow night will make for a cold one. And then we'll see some clouds begin to build in here on Thursday with more chilly conditions lingering. Highs the rest of the week look to be stuck in the 30s. So 31 for a low tonight with some early showers during dinner time here and then clearing by morning again blustery and cold tomorrow sunshine at least returns to the area under partly cloudy skies but highs will be stuck in the upper 30s with a pretty brisk west wind here's your seven day forecast and again it stays chilly with highs in the 30s through the end of the week and into the weekend here the overnights remain cold down in the 20s. I'm still keeping an eye on Saturday right now. At the very least, it looks like some snow showers around here. Again, could turn out to be a bigger deal or maybe even less than a big deal here, but we'll keep a close eye on it the next couple of days. All right, translation, we could get